What's going on guys, Serious Serpent here with another update, patch 4, uh, PUBG. It's only been uh, like 4 days since our last patch, so it's nice to kind of see a little quick addition on how fast you can actually get these little patches out to us. So we're on version 0.5.28 at the minute. So starting off, there's some gameplay changes. They've uh, changed the pistol from the Y bush, uh, option to up on the D-pad, so it's grouped with your melee weapon. Which I think is a bit of a weird change, I wouldn't have put it to that, I would have just had the double press for Y to switch it to a uh, pistol, but I guess they felt that, that up on the D-pad, grouping it with a melee weapon was better, so you press up on the D-pad once, you get your pistol, you press it again, you get your melee weapon, and if you keep pressing up and down, you just go between your pistol and melee weapon. Personally, yeah, I don't. I, for anyone who wants to use a melee weapon, that's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass now to get to. Next one, optimization. Uh, they continue to make improvements with the rubber banding. So I was actually playing already, and I didn't feel there was like there was a lot of rubber banding. The gameplay you're watching right now is all from uh, a match that I just played today before recording this. And you'll see like the little achievements, the uh, the the open the D pad and whatnot. They have enhanced server performance uh, while parachuting, which is definitely true. It's a lot less kind of jittery, and uh, yeah, it seems that uh you're not losing as many frames still losing some frames there but you know all in good time that should be fixed uh they've added some options uh they've added a new controller preset with your menu which is type b so if you hold start you bring up your uh your option menu and then go into options for settings uh then you'll see there is a type b preset and this basically uh, holding LT to aim down sights instead, as opposed to uh, pressing the trigger, and then holding LB and use third person uh, perspective aim sight, which is basically that kind of little zoom that it does. So I've yet to kind of try that out, but it sounds like that would be a lot better, I guess, because yeah, it is really awkward to kind of just happen to aim down sights and you play any other game that's always hold and you're kind of just. It feels a bit weird, so I might switch out to that and give it a little test. Bug fixes. They fix an issue where players are uh, repositioned out of the battleground uh, after certain actions to remain invulnerable until the end of the match. There is nothing worse. I've seen so many people complain about this. I've seen it happen to my mate as well. There was nobody left. He was the last person in a solo game. But unfortunately, someone had glitched and they were still alive. And I've seen it like videos uh, happen to squads and everything, and it's just it's such a little ah, uh, just people who who would actually do it on purpose. Okay, if it happens by accident, you know you can't really do anything about it. But people who would do it on purpose are just sad, sad people. Uh, they've added additional memory and non-memory related crashes. Uh, that's kind of gonna be just on their side because we can really tell when it's memory related uh, crashes. But it's good to see that they're fixing more and more crashes. Uh, fix the and. Inability to join duos, squads through invites outside of the game. That's kind of a not really that much of an issue, I don't think. Because when you're on a different game and like, oh yeah, sends an invite there, and then it's like, oh no, it didn't join me. Like, just, just send another one, you know. <laughs> but anyways, uh, the update also highlighted two things uh, that would be addressed, which are dropping objects causes a player to switch weapons. That's still happening to me, as you'll see in this gameplay video, uh, as well as when you're using the map and you place a marker, or no, remove marker is why, it will switch your weapon, it's, it's, or zoom in uh, on the map, it will switch to your pistol now, so it's a bit of a annoying and weird thing, but it's, it's not that big of a problem, you know, it's not like you're not going to notice that you're holding out a different weapon. Uh, and then also users unable to switch grenade types uh, when tapping right on the D-pad didn't come across that at all but uh yeah that, that, that those two things are going to be addressed in the next patch so yeah it's nice to see that they're uh not not the two biggest things in the world i would have picked, picked out for the next patch that are highlights but nevertheless they're improving little bugs and whatnot and it's nice to see that they're constantly working to improve it and make it better for us and hopefully you know if people are still complaining even though they're after buying a game preview game, so all in good time, as they say. Till next time, my guys, be awesome, stay awesome, and as always, have an awesome day.